shifts from 9 until 12.30. I teach them English, numbers. I focus, right now I'm focusing on teaching them their names. They're great because they're so eager to learn. They're excited to come to school every day. They're so excited about school that it's so great to be able to teach a group of students that want to learn. So right now I'm working at a medical clinic in San Lucas. It's about 20 minutes away from Antigua. And just doing triage, shadowing doctors, and working on medical Spanish. A renovation project um, is at the monastery. We work in the foster home that they run for kids that have bad home situations. They take them in and care for them so that they have a place to stay, a place to go. We paint, we've been varnishing the windows. So it's just working on making it a good, safe place for them to live. It's eco-agriculture, so that means you're working with all sorts of planting. The farmers up here have some of the most diverse farms I've ever seen, from fruits and veggies, and uh, then of course you're working with the coffee too, depending on the time of year. From the berries to the cup, there's about 50 different steps, and so every single day it's something different. I'm doing teaching and sports education, so in the mornings I'll uh, teach a class of eight and nine-year-old children, and uh, go back to the volunteer house for lunch, and then after lunch, do some sports in the afternoon, usually play soccer, a bit of rugby, uh, kickball, all sorts. Basically, you work at night on the sea turtle work mostly, taking night patrols and watching the hatchery when the sea turtle uh, hatchlings come out. And during the day, you just do work around the camp because it's brand new, so there's always stuff to build and, and improve upon and help with the community. When I'm in the kindergarten project, it's from in the morning for about three hours. We go in. Uh, we help in the classroom, we sing songs, we dance, and then I have about 20 minutes, 30 minutes each day to do a lesson of my own. We're given a topic for the week. Some topics have been safety and farm animals, colors, shapes, and like that. The accommodations and the food is great. It's a lot different than being at home, but I'm very appreciative because people here don't have a lot, so it's great for people to like give you everything that they have and just be so friendly. It's like living in an apartment, kind of, with a lot of other people from a lot of different places. Bruno and Tony make our food, and we love them for it. <laughs> We're given breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we all eat together and socialize. Um, it's been really awesome. I've only been here for three weeks, and I already feel like I've known um, a group of us for about my whole life, and I'm already dreading having to leave them. It's going to be really sad, and, but I know I'll meet them again. I think that's the beauty of this, is that I've gotten to meet people from all around the world, and I know that this won't be the last time I'm going to see them. You know, we all talk about saving the environment. We all talk about saving the world. I would tell you this isn't talking, this is doing. This is getting out, getting your hands in the dirt, getting muddy, and doing the things to support the people doing that work out in the field. I'm not telling you this is easy. At the same time, I'll tell you it's rewarding. And come expecting to give and to get back, and you will. The way I feel about the program is that it's very great and that I would do it again. I definitely want to go travel more and I want to volunteer everywhere else I can so I can learn more about other countries and other people and meet more volunteers and see what else I can do. Definitely changed my life, for me at least, in a lot of ways I didn't expect it to, to be honest. So yeah, I definitely will do this again in the future for sure.